Well, hey there, folks. We've had a lot of subscribers asking us about what kind of difference we'd have with the buckshot pattern when you changed your barrel length. Uh, say, like a, uh, I have a 26 inch barrel for my 870 and a 28 inch barrel for my 870. We're going to put the kicks buck kicker choke in the uh, in both barrels and we're going to shoot them at 40 meters and 70 meters. You're watching Bubble Roundtree Outdoors. All right, hammer's gonna shoot the old 870. We got the federal. This is the this is the cheap stuff from Walmart. I got that I think for twelve dollars for fifteen rounds. But my 870 loves double offs. So we're just gonna shoot all four rounds. We're gonna shoot two at forty from both barrels, the 28 inch and the 26 inch. I don't suspect there'll be a whole lot of difference at uh, at 40 meters. Now when we're gonna run into the difference is when we back up to 70 meters. But that's what we're shooting, the Power Shock Federal 15 pellet double alt. This is not coated. This is standard lead, hard cast, Federal ammunition. We're going to shoot long and short barrel at 40 meters, long and short barrel at 70 meters. Are you using this? We've got the Kicks Buck Kicker standard full for all shots in the short and the long barrel. Target cam's already rolling. Pony cam is focused in and rolling. Yes, it is. First shot is a 28 inch barrel. Well, about straight up and down. It's not, there's a good line straight up and down. One cutting in the bullseye. We got all 15 on paper. Looks like they went a little high and left. But uh, that was 28 inch barrel. Let's shoot the 26 inch barrel. Same choke, same round. I'd be scared to know how many deer that each one of these barrels are taking. It's the Carlson extended. Now this thing is old. I got this. this uh, Extended tube a long time ago. I think you're in this. It's okay. The main thing is, as long as it holds the barrel on there, we'll get all that seed in a little bit. Well, I need to get the choke. Shoulder barrel. All right. It's so showing 958, but I know it was probably faster than that. Those sights are adjusted for slugs. Actually, I know the short barrel sights are adjusted for slugs. That is a massive. Yeah, see, look at what I'm actually. I think the short barrel outperformed the long barrel at 40 meters. Right All 15. Yeah. Yeah, the sights would have to be adjusted for, for this load. Like I said, it was adjusted for slugs. Does that look like a better pattern to you? That's a definitely a tighter pattern. Yeah. At 40 meters with the short barrel. 
Like I said, that's why you shoot your gun, guys. You, you find out what they like. The flavors that it likes all have a different personality. You just change the barrel, and it'll change the personality on your shotgun. All right, we're going to back up to 70 meters and see, uh, see what we get. Stand by. Okay, folks. Before we do the 70 meter shoot, just wanted to touch base with you right quick. You're about to see some pretty amazing stuff out of this old 870 shotgun with both barrels. Uh, we, after the shoot, we just wanted to make sure that our measurements were correct, so we rechecked my 70 meter line, yard line, and it's actually 73 meters to be more precise, which is 79.87 yards, just under, or you might as well call it 80 yards. Okay guys, keep that in mind when you watch this, and I'll touch base with you again right at the end of the video. Same rounds at 70 meters just the cheap federal stuff and my shotgun show sure likes it actually the short barrel in our opinion outperformed the, the long barrel at 40 meters if you count the pattern being tighter let's see what happens back here at 70 meters we're going to shoot the short barrel first since it's already in it then we're going to turn around and shoot out the 28 inch barrel the sights i can tell the sights were adjusted for the chokes when we were shooting the the, the sights are adjusted for the slugs when we were doing the 100 meter slug yep. shoot. Yeah, so I can tell that they're adjusted a little bit left. So we're going to have to compensate for that here at 70 meters. Ugh. All right, we ready? Yes, sir. All right, here we go. Look, it ate it up. 1248. Now that's a little bit more like it, you know. I think we got a, a true reading on it that time. No, there's none on the left. I saw no, the ones. I saw the ones on the right. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, they're about dead center. I would have to if we we were deer hunting with that, we would have to adjust that yeah. side. You got the bullseye. <laughs> you got the very center of the bullet. <laughs> 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 We got all 15, all 15 on that paper. You see my pickup way back up yonder at 70 meters. Out of that 26 inch barrel on my 870. What you covering with your hand, another hammer? I think nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine you can cover with your hand out of that kicks buck kicker. Standard full, 26 inch barrel at 70 meters. Looks like I held it a little too far right, but that's why we put that big sheet on there just in case. Oh, that's impressive. Yeah, that, that is impressive. I don't care who you are. All right, let's see how the long barrel does. I know that it's always doing good, but I really had no idea that short barrel would outperform it at this distance. That Carlson, that old style Carlson, has a little nickel sized cap that goes, slides up in the end of the tube, and it can fall out. straight. Choke changer. Over. Choke changer. Yeah. There we go. Gotta have the choke changer. Or else it would not be fair. <laughs> that is fair not to use the kick. I think that right here with the different barrel lengths, that's going to be your great equalizer right there. All right, there she is right there. Number four. Oh. Maybe a little right too because it shot high and left. Yeah, it did. So yeah, I would hold the coarser sight, like I said, down in the grooves. Oh yeah. And then maybe, maybe hold just a scotch to the right, but uh, it uh, is normally right on dead center. I'll try and center it up and just line the beads up good. Alright. See? It looks like it may have one a little left, I'm not sure. You got some close together too. What in the world? What a pattern. Did the wide butt on it, What is that? 
probably the wide. I don't know. Uh, and that thing busted through the cardboard. It probably, well, it was counting the pellets. I may have still had a pellet stuck in the wall. Oh, my goodness, dude. Is that five? Is that three right here? It's definitely two. I think it's three. There's two, a double strike. Okay, right next to it. Okay, I think you're right. That is three. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and that other one was stuck in the wad. That's going to be why uh, why that wad impacted there, because one of the pellets was still hung in the wad. Well, that's impressive too. That's impressive. <laughs> wow. Especially right here too. The same. You got that one. You were holding it perfect. This dead center. That's right. Well, if that was a deer, oh good gosh, bro. If that was a deer, you'd have hit him with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, probably twelve pellets. You'd have hit that deer with at seventy meters. Well, I think they both did. Oh, they really both good. did excellent. Really good. Yeah, I couldn't say weigh one against the other. Mm -mm. I'd say if that, you know, that being the way it is, you uh, with the lighter weight, I'd shoot the shorter barrel. Yeah. As good as it patterns. Yeah, especially with this with these double alt loads. Like I said, guys, we've always known my 870 loves double alt, so that's what I shot in it most all the time. I took an eight point. Yeah, I, I took an eight point right in front of Greg Davenport at the Savannah River Plant back in uh, '94 or '95. 138 steps, which for me, 6'4", that's going to be meters. That's going to be about 138 meters down a gas line. I shot him three times, and I had three or four buckshot in him. One of them went right through his heart. Oh, well. Man, that impre that's impressive, guys. And that's with factory stuff. That's some pretty amazing stuff right there. And I personally attribute that to three factors. A, the 870 shotgun is one of the finest weapons that's ever been invented. Now, my old shotgun goes back to 1977 when Captain Buster picked it up for me. I was uh, 13 years old. Um, I've replaced the furniture on it twice, and I'm on my third barrel uh, on this shotgun. So but it's a good one and it's still a good one the uh, second or B uh, factor in this is that just because the federal ammunition is cheap at Walmart does not mean low quality federal ammunition is some of the best that we have ever used over the years and before I started reloading buckshot we went and had to buy it off the shelves just like everybody else that doesn't load buckshot and federal has always been in the gun belts right along with Remington and the Winchester and see the kicks buck kicker choke tube is the best buckshot choke tube we have ever shot here the BRO crew has ever had in a shotgun um, in the field we are in our third year shooting these chokes exclusively and uh, Mr. Chuck Boswell over there at kicks he got it right well what about that guys holy cow Ain't nobody more impressed than we are. Uh, I'll tell you what, just because that barrel is a couple inches shorter, its performance was right neck and neck with the 28 inch, even down to 70 meters. I'll have to check the conversion. That's getting real close to 80 yards, probably in the neighborhood of 76 or 77 yards. Getting real close to 80 yards. But anyway, so what I tell you guys, if you found a barrel like that to go on your 870 or your Mossberg that's a few inches shorter, You'll have to take them and check the combination, but I think the equalizer is that buck kicker choke tube. That's what I think is the great equalizer when it comes to that stuff. So there you have it, guys. Long barrel versus short barrel. Heck, with my shotgun, it didn't matter. This is Wade and Hammer and Rachel. We'll be back with another one real soon, guys. Bye-bye. We would like to thank all of our wonderful patrons for helping this channel out. Without you guys, we would not be able to continue doing what we do. Once again, this is Wade and the whole BRO crew saying thanks to all these wonderful folks.